Welcome to the aptly named seaside town of Rockport. Today we are looking at what is going on in this town of 3,643 people. We will discuss the attractions, eating establishments, beaches, and a few other quick items that make this town tick. Rockport is in the Midcoast region alongside the Penobscot Bay. Did you know that the Samoset was in Rockport? It's true. The town line almost makes it to the breakwater. Rockport is also home to Down East Magazine, McGuntica Campground, and the Penn Bay Medical Center. An hour and a half from Portland, Rockport is an hour and 15 minutes from Bangor, 50 minutes to Augusta, and a couple miles from Camden, which may have drawn you to this area in the first place. Well, that or Rockland. Please put in the comments below where you normally travel to. Are you from this area? We'd love to know. Restaurants. Here's a quick list of restaurants. Clubhouse Grill, which is at the Samoset. Grafham Brothers. Offshore Restaurant. Tommy Sushi. 47 West, Namaste Indian Food, Offshore, Ports of Italy, La Bella Vita Italiano Restaurante, Sweet Sensations, and Three Dogs Cafe, Nina June is a Mediterranean experience, and then there is Flatbread Company. Rockport has a number of notable attractions. On Seven Country and Way, there's Golfers Crossing Miniature Golf, 18 holes of contoured water features and greens, and then there's is Aldermere Farm, which is a 13-acre saltwater farm with a visitor's center and gorgeous belted Galloway cattle. There is also Michael Good Gallery, where you will discover an array of fine art and crafts. And of course, there's the Rockport Opera House, the Ralston Gallery. Here you can explore the photography and of storyteller Peter Ralston. There's Bonnie's Place, which has a diversity of gifts from over 90 different artists. Regarding protection, and fire safety in the community. Chief Peasley runs a tight ship at the fire department. He has a solid crew, great equipment, and solid training. He could, however, use some volunteers. If you live in the area and need a break from the digital overstimulation, swing by the station and see if you can help. Now, the Rockport Police is a bit unique in that Chief Ganya is shared with Camden, where he has served for decades in all manner of offices and duties. Chief Ganya has a team of of well-trained, pleasant, and community-conscious officers. Being the grandson of a police officer, I can't thank them enough for their risk, commitment, and perseverance. Keep up the good work. There's a couple beaches you may want to know about. There's Goodies Beach on Rockport Harbor. It sits to the right of the Harbor Master's office on Pascal Ave. And there's Walker Park. It's a small park that has a sandy beach somewhere around low tide. And then Glen Cove Beach, which is at the Glen Cove rest area. You will love exploring the mud flats at low tide. Now, in the same manner that Camden and Rockport share a police chief, they also share schools and provide a quality education emphasizing diversity, equity, inclusiveness. Middle schoolers are also enjoying their brand new school building that was just finished in 2020. There is a campground in town, McGuntica Campground by the Sea. It has 97 sites and everything you could possibly need from electricity to a pool to shore access. Are you up for some fishing, canoeing, or kayaking, there is the harbor, Grassy Pond, Miro Lake, Tolman Pond, Rocky Pond, Macy's Pond, and Chickawaukee Pond for all your paddling and fishing pleasures. For parks and hiking, there is Beach Hill Preserve, which has a 1.2 mile out and back hike. A short footpath leads to a dirt lane that climbs gently through the wild blueberry fields to the top of Beach Hill. There is also Erickson's Field Preserve, which is a 1.4 mile loop, and then there's the Penn Bay Medical Center has a wellness trail as well. And you're definitely going to want to walk around down on the waterfront because there you will be able to catch a historic glimpse into the early lives of the Rockport settlers. Workers here alongside the harbor were very busy producing lime from the area quarries. Check them out. While you're down there on the water, you could check out Ride on the Schooner Heron, a 52-foot schooner which will carry 30 passengers. There's also Maine Sport kayaking tours. Check them out at mainsports.com. Instructional courses, rentals, and sales. Here's a question for you. Do you want to see more videos like this? Well then, please hit the subscribe and the like buttons and we'll see you on the next video. Yeah, yeah.
Thank you for watching.